Welcome back to Master Wealth. And in this video, I will guide you through the process of assembling a profitable dividend stock portfolio. We will show you how to construct a high-quality dividend portfolio by covering all the bases you need to know as a dividend investor. Let's get to it! First things first, define dividend stock. Companies that distribute a portion of their profits to their shareholders are said to be dividend stocks. Simply holding shares of a dividend-paying corporation results in a financial gain for the investor. And when you do this action, you will be rewarded with passive income as a shareholder. Companies having a proven history of returning profits to their shareholders are the ones most likely to be represented by dividend stocks. That begs the question though, how exactly do dividend stocks function? Let's pretend you invest in 100 shares of a corporation at a price of $10 each. To buy 100 shares at this price would cost you $1,000. Let's pretend that every share of stock you possess in this firm entitles you to a dividend payment of 50 cents. This dividend yields 5%. Therefore, if you invest $1,000, you will earn $50 that year. That $50 is the dividends you've received or the interest you've earned from owning the stock. Now, let's talk about the motivation behind creating a dividend portfolio. Consistent financial support is a major perk for many people. As a result, you won't have to put all your eggs in the stock price appreciation basket because you'll also get dividend payments just for holding on to the stock. In addition, dividend portfolios have been shown to be more stable than the market overall, giving you additional peace of mind. Having a dividend portfolio might make a lot of sense in volatile and uncertain markets where equity investments have their own dangers. You'll be better able to weather market storms and inflation as a result. You can further diversify your portfolio by purchasing shares in dividend-paying blue-chip firms. The benefits of dividend investing will now be discussed. First, let's talk about passive income or money that comes in without you actively seeking it. You don't have to do any work to keep the business running, making this one of the most passive ways to make money. If you buy stock and keep it, you will eventually receive a dividend. Your entire investment is being put to work here. As an additional benefit, dividend investment frequently outperforms the market. When dividends are considered, the return on dividend stocks is higher than the market average. You can lessen exposure to uncertainty and volatility as a result. Dividend stocks may increase more slowly than other companies, but they are less volatile, so you won't lose as much money in a down market. Additionally, there are tax benefits. Most dividends, including those distributed by U.S. corporations, are considered qualified dividends and are taxed at the long-term capital gains rate rather than at the individual's marginal tax rate. Non-qualified dividends, often known as ordinary dividends, are subject to taxation at the individual's normal rate of income taxation. Therefore, there may be tax advantages to investing in dividend equities. Your earnings will compound over time. You can purchase even more dividend shares by reinvesting your dividend payments. From that point forwards, compound and exponential growth will occur. As a result of dividend payments, dividend companies often perform better than high-growth firms, which typically decline in weak markets and large corrections. Let's discuss the drawbacks of dividend investing now. The first is undoubtedly less expansion. When corporations pay dividends to their stockholders, it means they have less money to reinvest in the company. That's a major factor in why the value of dividend stocks rises so slowly. Simply put, those businesses can no longer afford the same level of internal investment. 
We favor these equities because there is a trade-off in that some of the profits are distributed to shareholders. There is also no assurance of dividends. In times of financial difficulty, companies have the option of suspending dividend payments or eliminating them completely. Dividend Exchange Traded Funds, or ETFs, tend to have a narrower concentration on large-cap stocks than other major index funds. As a result, you're missing out on a wide range of mid- and small-cap stocks. Some examples of a widely held dividend equities are provided below. Most of these names are household ones by now. All of these, however, offer above-average payouts when compared to the vast majority of global corporations. Let's jump right into creating your own dividend portfolio. Opening a brokerage account is the first stage, and we'll cover the others in greater depth later. The second step is to fund the account. Step 3 is to decide what kinds of investments you wish to make. The final phase entails making the actual investment purchases. The funds are currently available in your account and must be invested in the aforementioned securities. I will now demonstrate how to open a brokerage account. Let me demonstrate how the sign-up procedure works. If you want to join Webull, the sign-up screen will look like this when you click the link below. When you open a new account and deposit at least $100, you are eligible to receive up to 6 free stocks. To continue, please enter your phone number and the verification code you received via text message into the appropriate fields. It only takes a few minutes to sign up, and it's quite easy to do. I've been using Webull for a while now, and it's a fantastic software. Moomoo is the last of the bunch. I've been using this fantastic app for quite some time. When you open an account and make a deposit, you'll receive 5 free shares of stock. A wonderful perk of making a deposit of $100 or more is receiving an additional share of Lucid stock. To sign up, please visit this link and enter your email address and password. The procedure of purchasing shares is standard across all platforms. Thus, your choice of platform is of little consequence. Although there are many more options for online brokers, I only recommend the three I've shown you since they offer welcome bonuses in the form of free stocks. There is also Vetify, which has a nice list of dividend ETFs. Even though exchange-traded funds or ETFs are discussed in this video, one excellent approach to accumulate dividend stocks is through dividend ETFs. The expense ratio, among other things, can be found by clicking on the actual name, which will take you to a page with much more information. This exchange-traded fund ETF has a very low cost ratio of 0.06%. There are also analyst reports and other useful statistics available. Webull, Moomoo, and Robinhood also have this data at your disposal. All the data is present, regardless of the device you're using. Investing in a secure environment is a primary priority. Never put in more than you can afford to lose completely. If you're not trading options, you have very nothing to worry about when it comes to ordinary stock trading. But before putting your money into anything, and especially stocks, you should perform your own research. To be sure the level of risk is acceptable for you, I suggest devoting an hour of study time per company you're considering. Create and adhere to a set of personal investing criteria. If you want to maximize your chances of success in the market, you should avoid trading based on impulses or emotions. Here are some other factors to think about. 10-year average return, dividend yield, diversification, cost of owning an ETF or expense ratio, total return, and earnings per share, EPS, are some of the major measures we'll be covering in greater depth. When discussing the performance of a mutual fund or other investment over the course of a decade, the average return during that time period is reported as a percentage. 
This statistic is useful for determining an asset's potential future earnings and value. These average returns over 10 years can be stacked to demonstrate an investment success across a longer time frame. The dividend yield of a corporation is calculated by dividing the annual dividend per share by the current stock price. While a dividend increase is always welcome, investors should steer clear of dividend trap firms that pay out excessive amounts of dividends without reinvesting the proceeds in the company's growth. The ability to keep, reduce, or enhance dividends is more crucial. The ability to diversify your holdings is essential. Spread your money around so you're not too exposed to any one market or asset class. The goal is to lower the portfolio's overall volatility. The portfolio correlation coefficient is a good indicator of this. Expense ratios are another name for the cost of holding an exchange-traded fund. This is especially relevant for dividend ETFs and other types of ETFs because it can significantly impact your returns. Expense ratios below 0.1% are generally seen as satisfactory. Increase in stock price or capital gains plus dividends received from the company equals total return. Increased profits and dividends are rewards for shareholders who invest in companies whose stock performs well. A company's earnings can be normalized to a per share value using earnings per share or EPS. Dividend stocks are safer bets, and companies that raise their earnings per share, or EPS, over time are the most stable. Take into account the following tactics while planning your investment portfolio. When investing in equities, your goal should be dividend income, not exponential growth. To maximize current and future profits, your organization should avoid taking any unnecessary risks. Taking aim at various sectors, the effects of economic cycles on enterprises vary widely. If you want to reduce your exposure to risk, investing in companies from different industries will help. The optimal number of sectors is between 5 and 7. Financial security is more important than rapid increase in volatile markets. Thus, dividend stocks should be purchased with care. Examine the company's credit scores to ascertain its financial health. Invest in business where the payout ratio is 60% or below. A lower payout ratio indicates that more of the company's earnings are being reinvested towards expansion. Pay attention to businesses that have a track record of dividend increases. Companies having a track record of consistently increasing their dividends are preferable investments. You can take advantage of compound growth by reinvesting profits, provided you don't need the money for immediate living expenditures. Here are a few ways to invest your dividends. The goal of dividend growth investing is to gain financial stability and growth through investments in dividend-paying firms. It's ideal since you'll get income through dividends and see gain in your investment as the company grows. This dividend-focused stock trading technique involves holding equities long enough to collect the dividend payment before selling them for a profit. Stocks may drop in value following dividend payments, making this method potentially more efficient but also riskier. For the sake of compound interest and long-term growth, Many investors choose to reinvest their dividends by purchasing additional shares of stock. Finally, a dividend investment is ideal for those seeking a steady stream of passive income over the long term rather than a quick buck. Although it's unlikely to turn you into a millionaire quickly, it can give you a reliable source of income that can add up over time. Many individuals' principal source of income will not come from dividend investing, but over time, many people can amass a substantial dividend portfolio that provides a stable source of income. For instance, a $1 million dividend portfolio with a 3% average return would provide $30,000 in annual dividend payments. Dividend investing offers a smart and reliable path 
to financial stability and long-term growth. By building a diversified portfolio of dividend-paying stocks, you can enjoy the benefits of passive income, potential outperformance of the market, and favorable tax advantages. Remember to research and choose your investments wisely, focusing on companies with a strong history of dividend growth and sound financial health. While dividend investing may not make you a millionaire overnight, it provides a dependable source of income that can accumulate over time, offering financial security and peace of mind. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights into personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Keep investing, and we'll see you next time.